Hello friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jaseem. If you are interested in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry, properties of touching circles and the properties of right triangles, then here is an interesting problem. A square is given. A circle of maximum size is drawn inside the square. Suppose its radius is B units. On the top left corner of the square, a circle is drawn that has radius A units. Then my problem is, what is the value of the ratio B by A? That is, ratio of radius of larger circle to the radius of the smaller circle. If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. First, let's analyze what are given in the problem. First of all, the whole construction is made inside a square. Secondly, the green color circle drawn inside the square is of maximum size. And finally, both the circles are touching each other and touching the outer square. Now remember what is our aim of this problem. It is nothing but to find the ratio of radii B by A. This is the structure of our problem, so always keep in mind. Now check the diagram very carefully. We just want to find the ratio of radii. So we don't have to consider the entire diagram. Split the square into 4 parts and consider this part only. This is enough for our work. Now the two circles we have are tangent circles, that is touching each other. So, we need to note a very important property of touching circles. For that, consider two circles touching at some point externally. Then the fact is, centers of the circles and their touching point are collinear. If the circles are touching internally, that is one circle is inside the other, still the result is true. That is, centers and their touching point are lying on the same line. Now come back to our problem and mark the touching point of the circles. Then, by the property we have told, the centers and the touching point are collinear. And this line is in fact the diagonal of the square. Now, in this diagonal, this part is a radius of the green circle. So it will be B units. And these two parts are two radii of the pink circle. So they both are A units. Now a small piece is remaining. Let's say it has x unit length. Why we are doing all this is because we can solve for x in terms of a and b in two different ways. So by equating them, we can calculate the ratio b by a. Now look at the top edge of the square. Length of this edge is b units, same as the radius of green circle. Now come back to the figure and consider this pink circle only. Then, this small part of the top edge is A units, same as the radius of pink circle. Noting all these things, again come back to the figure and consider this small right triangle here. Clearly, its hypotenuse is X plus A. But, at the same time, it's a right triangle with the perpendicular sides are equal. So, the hypotenuse will be root 2 times that length. That is, here, the hypotenuse is equal to root 2 times a. Therefore, x is equal to a root 2 minus a. That is equal to a into root 2 minus 1. Now come back to our diagram and consider this larger right triangle here. Note that its hypotenuse is equal to b plus 2a plus x. But similar to the previous case, this right triangle is also an isosceles right triangle. That is, the perpendicular sides are equal with length b units. So, hypotenuse is equal to b root 2. And therefore, this equation gives x is equal to b root 2 minus b minus 2a, which is equal to b into root 2 minus 1 minus 2a. Now we have two expressions for x and equate both of them. This gives a into root 2 minus 1 equal to 
b into root 2 minus 1 minus 2a. That is, a into root 2 minus 1 plus 2a equal to b into root 2 minus 1. In this equation, left hand side simplifies to a into root 2 plus 1. Therefore, a into root 2 plus 1 equal to b into root 2 minus 1. And hence, b by a is equal to root 2 plus 1 divided by root 2 minus 1. The answer is ready. But we can simplify this into a better looking form. For that, multiply both numerator and denominator with root 2 plus 1. Then, numerator will become root 2 plus 1 whole square which is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2. And the denominator will become root 2 minus 1 into root 2 plus 1 which is in the form a plus b into a minus b and hence it is equal to 2 minus 1. That is, the ratio b by a is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 and this value is approximately equal to 5.82843 units. And that is the solution we are looking for. And that's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. Thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.